All right, guys, we're here at Blade Show 2015. I'm here with Glade from Hellbent Holsters, and he's. Um, we bumped into each other yesterday. We were talking a little bit about their holsters, but really their focus right now, because they're so popular, are their combat wallets. So he's going to give you a little bit of the history of them, and then, uh, there it is. <laughs> he's going to give you the history of, of the company, a little bit about the wallet, and then we're going to uh, actually look at the wallets up close and talk about some of the, uh, the different features. And then we'll put a link down below in the video, so if you want to head over to their website to uh, purchase one, you can do that. So let's hear the rundown, kind of, where did Hellbent Holsters start? Uh, Hellbent Holsters started in 2000, the early part of 2011, in my attic of my home. Um, I worked in the oil field. I was home for a long period of time, gone for a long period of time. I'm the type of person that has to keep my hands busy. And um, I came from the hot rod interior business. We used to do private jets. So we used Kydex to be able to do our, our substructures for upholstery. And uh, I integrated that into the hot, hot rod industry and I worked with it a lot. So I kind of knew the, the characteristics of Kydex and how it worked and how to manipulate it uh, before the whole Kydex boom, for say, happened. Right, right. Um, so it wasn't, it was something, well, let me pause. So it wasn't anything foreign to me to kind of start making stuff. So I made a holster, much like a lot of guys out there made a holster, people thought it was cool. Next thing you know, Billy wants one. Next thing you know, George wants one. Next thing somebody else wants one. Well. The combat wallet came from, I've had a wallet since my sophomore year in high school, and my wife always made fun of me for it. This is dilapidated and horrible, and uh, it broke. So- um, You were telling me yesterday, it was like cash, credit cards, then receipt, 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 receipt. Oh, dude, my, my wallet was like right, seriously huge. three inches huge, thick. Right. You're like, it's like you're sitting on a brick, basically. <laughs> yeah, it really was, it really was. So my wallet finally gave out because it was just so costanzified. It was just, <laughs> it was just destroyed. Yep. So I, um, I was kind of heartbroken. You know, I've had this wallet. It was the first wallet I ever bought, expensive wallet for myself when I was a sophomore, you know. And I uh, bought like 20 or 30 different wallets. And, you know, I was, I was up in the attic, and I decided to kind of produce something that maybe would hold a card or two. Um, where it all came from was I, it was literally a, kind of a, a pop of inspiration. I guess you can say at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I have, I have insomnia like crazy. So my, of course it was in my attic, so I pulled the attic door down, I go upstairs and I made the combat wallet. Yeah. You know, it was pretty pretty horrible then, you know. <laughs> uh, cards falling out, I, I used a lot of rubber bands and you know, all that kind of stuff to kind of hold my wallet together. But I used it for like four months and people started noticing it. And next thing you know, Billy wants one, George wants one, yeah. you know, Jose wants one, all my, fr all my friends are wanting one. They thought it was pretty cool. Um, a lot of these guys were in the military at that time. so. That's where the name of the combat wallet came from because a lot of my guys were military and they started taking these things with them to overseas. So yeah, these are the uh, <clears throat> these are the combat wallets here, uh, just exclusive for Blade Show 2015. We released the uh, the CW 2.5. Uh, we had a big push. Some of our some of our tr more traditional wallets had an integrated money clip, and we had a, we had a kind of a, a bigger issue with it not staying in place, and so. Uh, customer's drive made me produce something a little bit more long in, for longevity, um, which we did. We gave it an actual structural carbon fiber money clip uh, that's removable. So you're able to, um, you know, the days that you don't want to carry cash on your wallet, you can simply pull it out. It'll carry 52 bills folded in half. Um, and then, the, like I said, the days that you don't want to carry it, you literally, um, literally just take and it's just an upward motion and it comes apart. Uh, and then if you want to carry it, if you're like me, you have family and you only got a couple couple dollars in receipts, um, you can kind of um, you kind of just throw it together like that. So yeah, these are our um, these are our Blade Show exclusives. We are going to offer these um, in the future, but it's going to be a little bit longer down the road in the future that we start offering these as a regular regular purchase item. And then over here we got RFID and then ones without RFID, right? Yeah. So if you look right here in the top corner. Um, okay. These ones are the ones that do not have RFID protection, and that RFID protection is a big is a big seller just for the simple fact of you know people are starting to scan more, get general information, uh, but also a lot of law enforcement don't like RFID because they have access key cards, and it and it and it blocks their access key card to be able to get into their buildings. So that's why we still offer both. We offer with or without. Let's talk about just price point across the range here. Yeah, so we have the uh, we have the combat wallet without a clip and it and that's that starts at 25 bucks. And then we have the combat wallet without a clip with RFID. The RFID option is $10 extra 
for any option of wallet that we offer. And then we have the, uh, this is the back side of the combat wallet with the integrated money clip. Um, it, still, it still is awesome. The integrated money clip has worked for the past three and a half years. Um, it's just, you know, it kind of kind of stretches out a little bit. We all know that we all know the nature of the beast with Kydex. It's going to kind of give a little bit, but also with that same nature, if you take a little bit of a, a Bic lighter and just light the back side of this, it'll reset itself to zero. So, so that's kind of a cool cool thing. So, don't, so don't be timid to buy these things. They're going to last forever. I mean, I've carried mine for the past three years, and I've I've had zero issues with it. And then up to these guys, these are all the blade show ones. Yeah. So, so right here, these six are the Blade Show exclusives. Um, the, the, the Blood Reds are the Blade Show exclusives. And then, and then basically what we did is, is we had a high demand for people wanting the removable money clip, the CW 2.5. And so we decided to, to get ready for Blade Show and we, we got lucky and they allowed us to come. Uh, so whenever we decided to launch it, we decided that Blade Show was a perfect, perfect avenue to go ahead and launch the CW 2.5.